I remind the Senate that it should now choose one of its members to be Deputy President and Chair of Committees. I call Senator Birmingham. Thank you, President. Uh, President, I, it gives me great pleasure to move that Senator Andrew McLaughlin be appointed Deputy President and Chair of Committees. Thank you. So the question is that the motion is moved by Senator Waters. Oh, beg your pardon, Senator Waters. Thanks, President. I think you need to ask if there are any other nominations. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming you're standing to make one. Yes. Thank Do you. I have the call? Yes. Thank you, President. Uh, with great pleasure, I move that Senator Jordan Steeldrong take the chair as Deputy President and Chair of Committees. Thank you. Are there any further nominations? As there are no further nominations, we will now proceed to uh, the conducting a ballot. Um, so we'll invite the candidates. Uh, first of all, Senator McLaughlin to make a short statement. Senator McLaughlin. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, my fellow senators, I seek your support for election to the position of Deputy President. I ask senators to have think of me kindly and have regard to my work as temporary chair and my work as a chair of other committees and very, uh, during my time in the Senate. And I hope that uh, when you turn your mind to this, it will be a testament to my dedication that I will bring to the role. Uh, if I'm successful at ballot, uh, I'll do all I can to support our president, who is a senator I hold in the highest regard. Thank you, Senator McLaughlin. Senator Steele, John. Thank you, uh, President. I come to the Senate today to seek your support to be elected into the position of Deputy President of the Senate. Uh, this role, if you were to support me in it, uh, would be a historic uh, moment uh, to elect a person who identifies uh, openly as a disabled person uh, into this role. The Deputy President of the Senate is a leadership role in this place. Appointing a disabled person into this position would send a very clear message to disabled people across the country, a message that disabled people belong in politics, a message that disabled people are able and are trusted to lead, a message that this government, the opposition and the newly appointed crossbench are committed to centering disabled people and from day one will waste no time in breaking down the structural ableism that disabled people experience each and every day as a result of the decisions made in this place. Now I am proud to have the support of my Greens colleagues to put myself forward uh, for this position today. The Greens will always prioritise and promote upholding the voices of disabled people in this place. And I encourage every member of the Senate uh, to take this opportunity uh, to do the same. And you're the best candidate. Thank you, Senator Steele John. A ballot will now be held, but before proceeding to ballot, the bells will be rung for four minutes.
Lock the doors. Oh. The Senate will now proceed to ballot. Please write on the ballot paper the name of the candidate you wish to vote for. The candidates are Senator McLaughlin and Senator Steelejohn. If all senators have voted, the clerks will now collect up the ballot papers.
Senators Askew and McKim to act as scrutineers. Order. The result of the ballot is Senator McLaughlin 57 votes and Senator Steele John 13 votes. 
Uh, Senator McLaughlin is therefore elected Deputy President and Chair of Committees in accordance with standing orders. And I look forward to uh, working with you, Senator McLaughlin. And thank you. And um, Senator Wong. Uh, thank you. I, I, just, I would like to make, if I may, some brief remarks to congratulate uh, Senator McLaughlin on his election as Deputy President on behalf uh, of the government. Um, nearly, yes, I, I'm still having to get used to that. That might be a few faux pas for a little while. Um, I did note this morning, following the election of the president, um, the long-standing convention uh, as to the government of the day nominating the president and the uh, opposition of the day nominating the deputy president and chair of committees. And I just want to make a comment about that because there were a couple of interjections. It, it's, it's a reflection of the Westminster system. Yeah. It's a reflection that under our system, a party forms government, a party forms opposition, a party forms opposition. Um, uh, and if you know that somebody else formed a government or an opposition one day, the same convention presumably would apply. Uh, and uh, it reflects, it reflects. Order. Uh, well, the Order. respectful no, debate on something where we, we're electing the deputy president. Um, uh, uh, it is a reflection of a Westminster system which, uh, in this chamber, also recognises that no single party government, as I said, holds uh, the uh, um, majority uh, generally uh, in the chamber. Um, i make a couple of comments about Senator McLaughlin. Uh, he, he may have only served this chamber since 2020, but he has been a member of the Legislative Council in our home state of South Australia for some time prior to that. Um, and I do want to say, and this is no respect to you, President, that I'm delighted that another South Australian uh, is taking a leadership role in this place. Um, I note Thank all. <laughs> I... Oh, the Tasmanians have got the whip sewn up, though. Um, <clears throat> he, he's also served as president of the LegCo for a couple of years. Uh, for for a couple of years, so um, I think that uh, role, um, his experience in. Uh, presiding in that role has been evident in his uh, work in this chamber. Uh, I look forward to working with you. Uh, I, uh, we hope you and the president will form uh, a very good team uh, in the way that we've seen uh, under previous presidents and deputy presidents um, the, uh, you know, a, very, a very collegiate approach to the management of the chamber. Uh, and I look forward to your fair and inclusive chairing uh, continuing. Uh, the government congratulates you, Senator, Senator McLaughlin, and we wish you all the best in your role. Thank you, Senator Wong. Senator Birmingham. Thanks, uh, thank you, President. And uh, I rise to echo the remarks of, uh, of Senator Wong, who has indeed touched on the, uh, the many attributes that I'm sure Senator McLaughlin will bring to serving alongside you, President, as, uh, as the Deputy President in this chamber. Uh, his experience stretches uh, far beyond uh, his service in this place, uh, which has been distinguished and active uh, but indeed it's an experience that does stretch, as Senator Wong has acknowledged, uh, into the South Australian Parliament uh, and to service as a presiding officer uh, in that parliament. Uh, I know that he will uh, bring uh, a sense of duty uh, and, uh, and a commitment to uh, the impartiality of the chair uh, in working alongside you, uh, that he will work as diligently as possible in the different roles that you and he undertake. Uh, particularly his roles in relation to Senate committees uh, and the chair of committees in this place. Uh, I thank the Senate for its support uh, of Senator McLaughlin uh, and the government for uh, its continued uh, recognition of the conventions of the Senate of this place, uh, of our system of government, uh, to which uh, we remain equally committed. Thank you, Senator Birmingham. Senator Waters. Thanks, President. Uh, the Greens rise, of course, to congratulate Senator McLaughlin on his appointment as Deputy President and Chair of Committees. Um, we're, of course, disappointed that our outstanding Senator Steele Jong, a, a, a proud disabled man, has not been successful in this role. It would have sent a really powerful message of inclusion um, to the entire community. Um, we also look forward to entering this century and becoming a republic. Thank you, Senator Waters. If there's no further speakers, Senator McLaughlin is seeking leave. Thank is leave granted? Yes, leave is granted. Thank you. I'd just like to quickly uh, thank my fellow senators for placing uh, trust in me. And I, and I undertake to you that I'll work faithfully and diligently to advance the interests of the Senate. 
Uh, Madam President, can I congratulate you on your election earlier today, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you. There being no further speakers, um, we'll now move on.